a live-action thriller spin-off of The Addams Family. The show is directed by Edward Scissorhands himself, created by Netflix, with a unique camera style and a highly recreated visual experience. The gothic genre's unique haunting atmosphere is brought to the forefront. The images alone give the audience a chilling sense of supernatural mystery. This is the kind of show that audiences who love this genre can't get enough of. As the show has just launched, the plot is slow to develop. I recommend watching the narrated series directly along with my pace. The story begins with. A little girl in a black dress is walking down the street with her pet. But what's different is that her favorite pet is a scorpion with a deadly venom. Her distinctive outfit and special preferences make her an obvious anomaly in the eyes of others. But she doesn't expect to be bullied by the bad boys. The girl is too scared to fight back as her beloved scorpion is crushed alive. She can only shed tears in front of its curtain in secret. With her tears and feelings of loss, the girl learns one thing, only the weak will be bullied and she must be a strong person in the future. In the blink of an eye, 10 years had passed. The girl is now a high school student and the start of a new school year. But her outfit and makeup has drawn the attention of her classmates. However, unlike before, the girl has become a tough girl at heart. Her aura is overwhelming and intimidating. The girl's aura is so strong that people are afraid to avoid her. But even the younger brother of such a ruthless character. But even the unscrupulous dare to bully her. Wednesday rushed to untie the rope from his hands. But before he could say anything, a flashback of the scene came to his mind. Needless to say it was these bad boys who were bullying his brother. before his brother could react. The next second, Wednesday's mirror went straight to the boy's training pool. Hey, freak. This is a close practice. The only person who gets to torture my brother is me. Before I could finish my sentence, Wednesday suddenly pulled out two big bags full of piranhas. The bad boys were instantly frightened and panicked. They swam in a panic towards the opposite side of the pool. But Wednesday was clearly not here to scare them. Watching the bad boys get their comeuppance, Wednesday smiled with satisfaction. And it was no surprise that this was her 18th transfer. But unlike before, this time her parents had been talking about how special the school was all along. You're going to love it here. And so it was. No sooner had the car pulled into the school, Wednesday felt more intimate than ever. The gothic architecture, the eccentric and unusual students, an eerie atmosphere everywhere. And this was the school that her parents were so proud of the famous Wingfield Academy. As a student, her mother was the queen of the college, and her roommate was now the head of the college, so it was only natural that Wednesday would become a member of the school. However, due to her previous aggressive behavior, she was asked to undergo a formal psychological evaluation after her admission. After the interview, the dean took the Adams family to the dormitory that had been prepared for Wednesday. It was the most special room in the whole college. The cheerful roommate was already waiting for her. The room had been decorated in a colorful way. To her surprise, Wednesday's face was full of disgust. For as long as she could remember, she had always thought that black and white was the most beautiful color scheme, even though it didn't suit her. But suddenly she heard that a murder had taken place in this room. Wednesday was instantly intrigued. So she settled in. Her roommate then kindly gave her a tour of the college. The school had been in existence for over 200 years. And unlike other places, none of the students here were normal. They were either strange aliens or bizarre freaks. There are vampires who don't age for 100 years, werewolves who turn on the night of the full moon, stone men with petrifying powers and spirit men who can transform in water. They have different abilities. Their habits are all different. But Wednesday was not interested in any of them. She likes something more exciting. After completing the admissions process, the family were ready to say goodbye to Wednesday. But there were no tears. There were no tears and no sadness. Instead, the parents looked like they had got rid of a big problem. There was an unexplainable joy. They gave Wednesday a necklace made of obsidian and left in a hurry. And in order to prevent their daughter from causing any more trouble before they left, they released their strange hands to control her every move. Back in the dormitory, on Wednesday, she turned half the area into her favorite color. She was unconcerned by her roommate's displeasure. When the house manager suddenly came into the room, Wednesday was presented with a black dahlia in the right color. She then explained the rules and regulations of the college. But the only thing Wednesday remembered was that everyone in the town had a deep prejudice against the college. There was even a suspicion that the students had been responsible for the recent spate of murders. Just a short time ago, there had been a series of bizarre cases in the town. Several travelers were attacked in the woods by unknown people. 
And what's even more horrific is the brutality of the crime. Each of the victims had lost organs in various places. Since then, the town has been on edge. It was thought that this was not something that a normal person would do. So they pointed the finger of blame at the Academy of Perpetual Independence. But Wednesday, a newcomer to the town didn't realize the danger. Just a quick trip into town for a cup of coffee and he was attacked by the extremists. What are the monsters from Wingfield Academy doing out here? Is it any of your business what I do? Don't do this. Stay out of it. Yes, you do. Before Curly could come forward to relieve the situation, the three punks were already beaten to the ground. The sound of a fierce fight caught the attention of the sheriff, and Curly happened to be the sheriff's son, so he explained that it was the punks who were after Wednesday. At that moment the dean who had brought Wednesday to town appeared. The sheriff then recognized her as the Adams' little girl. Your father was a murderer. He should have been in jail, and you'd better behave yourself in the future. The dean rushed Wednesday to the car. On the way back. She was still reeling from the sheriff's words, but then an accident on the side of the road suddenly caught her attention. Wednesday was suddenly shocked to discover the victim of the accident was the same man she had accidentally touched in town. And the moment she touched him, she had a premonition of what was going to happen. Looking at the obsidian necklace her mother had given her, Wednesday realized that her psychic powers were awakening. This ability allowed her to see the past and predict the future. When she returned to the dormitory, the more she thought about it, the worse it got. How could her father be accused of murder by the sheriff for no good reason? Just then the scent of hand cream suddenly reached her nose. Wednesday lifted the sheet, and there was the monster of a servant loyal to her father. Hello, little thing. Wednesday knew that monster was sent by her father to spy on her, so he was given two ways out. Either he could spend the whole term locked in a drawer, or he could start serving himself today, with Wednesday's powerful presence and coercion. Odd Hand had no choice but to choose the latter, and it was time for him to do his job. 